Okay. Hello and welcome to DCP Live episode number 195. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we got Paul back on the show. Welcome back, Paul. Hey, thanks for having me back. And we got Kenny Vaccaro. Welcome, Kenny. Hey, appreciate you having me. Yeah, thanks for joining. No problem, man. I'm glad I could finally get on here and do this. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. So, uh, you know, how's the week been for everyone? <laughs> this week's been to- totally normal. <laughs> Crazy. It's I heard there's like super fine. easy ways to get myself sued, and I'm uh, really hoping to get a uh, cease and desist letter in the mail. I heard they're quite the collector. Fingers item. crossed. Fingers uh, crossed. Right. Yeah. Fingers crossed that I get cho- chosen. It's all, it's all evidence right here. I was <laughs> watching that video this morning, and um, my fiance was like, "What are you? What are you listening to?" <laughs> Like, don't worry about it. You're like, it's a drama. <laughs> it's drama. It's just, don't worry about it. <laughs> it was just entertaining. It was just entertaining. I thought it was funny. <clears throat> oh, man. You know, what's interesting is it's just another week in 2020, actually. All things considered, <laughs> right? All things considered, not a bad week. It's like, yeah, 2020 being 2020. July is no different, right? Yeah, yeah. crazy. We're going in the second yeah. half. We're getting yeah. our ass kicked the first half, but we're in the second <laughs> half. Yeah, trying to make a comeback here. <laughs> exactly. What does that mean? I thought they had us in the second, in the yeah. first half. Yeah, that one. <laughs> we're, we're, got it. We're, we're down fifty boys. <laughs> uh, so Kenny, um, how's things, man? I've been good. Yeah. Um, just balancing, you know, working out, football, football stuff, family, and then obviously, you know, starting up G one, you know, making sure that you know I'm taking care of all the players, you know, working for them and kind of putting them first before myself it's 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 been challenging but it's fun um it's fun it's fun when you're doing something bigger than yourself and trying to like help people so i've always been passionate about gaming you know i was trying to do the streaming thing but i rather you know help young kids and you know young adults you know achieve their dreams it's awesome uh when did you get into yeah, streaming really cool. shoot not too long ago honestly i um like maybe last off season but okay, i started yeah. streaming and then, well, I say off. When I say off season, it's like after football season. So like January to like, you know, June, whatever. But um, yeah. I started up for a little bit. You know, I had a single PC. It's not. It's not the same as dual PC that, that I'm on now. Um, that dual PC life. I was doing it, but my fiance was getting mad at me because twelve hour days don't cut it in our family. <laughs> Putting in it's some been, hours. It's been a, yeah, it's been actually a pleasant surprise switching over to you know not I wouldn't say business because it's something I love to do, but um, trying to run an org, you know, so it's, it's fun. Nice. What, like, what got you interested in starting an org? Crazy story. I'll start from the beginning. So like two years ago, um, before I was in SOAR, I had joined SOAR last year. Um, they're already an org, obviously. Um, I was like, man, like, let me, I want to start up an org one day. Like that, it, it'd be really dope. Um, you know, it's kind of ambitious, right? A lot of times with orgs, they'll have these huge revenue, like, you know, funding, rounds where they get all this money from people i kind of was like you know what i'm just gonna do this on my own and uh i reached out to you know panda and onyx i don't know if y'all know that who that is in the community but mm-hmm. two of my players um they weren't they they didn't kind of they didn't really believe me they kind of took me as a token football player they didn't know anything about gaming so they're like nah we're good maybe maybe next time you know fast track a couple months later I'm, i end up being in sore with both of them and then you know it doesn't go very well with sore we all grab our pitchforks and, you know, guardians kind of rise up and we all leave sore at one time. Basically the whole team got together and was like, listen, they don't care about destiny. You know, it's more about call of duty, Fortnite, apex. Mm -hmm. We want more. Um, let's do this on our own. So within like 24 hours, everybody left, you know, we, we reached out to certain people, you know, cruiser who's no longer in G1, but he stayed up all night trying to help help with our logo. Um, you know, that little intro video we did, I don't know if y'all saw it, it's a long time. It was like the first video we ever posted. It, it was literally done overnight. And, you know, ever since then, we've just been kind of, you know, dealing with things, you know, taking it day by day. So it's been it's been fun. Obviously, last week was very challenging, yeah, um, to yeah, say yeah. the least. But when you're you're going to deal with these type of things, you know, in any situation, whether you're in a, you know, on an NFL team. Or mm-hmm. you're you're running a, a organization, you're going to deal with these type of problems. Yeah. And I'm and, I, and I'm proud of the way you know we handled it and how guys handled the situation. It's great. Yeah. I mean, people are going to be people regardless of the situation, right? You're going to have good and yeah. bad, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so you're you're obviously a big Destiny fan, then. Huh. Yeah. 
<laughs> when'd you when'd you get started with destiny uh probably how long has the game been about six years five six years yeah um, since 2014 I, I, was, right? I, I, I wouldn't at line in gamestop at midnight I, i'm not gonna claim like i was that guy i was probably like two or three months in so i was vlog you know i was okay. the original you know d1 forever 29 you know, yeah i was i was you know luck in the chamber days on the hang i was, yeah. I was that um i remember watching it's funny i was telling why i remember watching her crafty you know seridius who's in g1 now i used to watch all their youtube videos because i sucked at pvp i was like a point one, point two, and i was like i gotta get better i gotta watch some film um <laughs> you know <laughs> i was like studying all these players just like i would with the nfl and i'm not saying i'm the best now but i'll, I'll say i come a long way that's great man so you got a real passion yeah. for pvp obviously yeah, definitely. And honestly, I was scared to play PvP because I sucked so bad at first that I was a PvE guy at first. I didn't every night we do, you know, every night we do PvE first, get our raids done, get our, our weeklies done. Guys like, all right, let's go play Crucible. I'm like, ah, I'm straight. I'm good. I'm good. And then finally I just I broke into it and then just got addicted from there from then on out. And I think it's just the competing part of it. Sure. You know, I get that same adrenaline rush as I do when I, you know, get an interception in the in the league as I do if I'm in a one B three in trials. It's the same feeling. And, you, and as an athlete, you kind of search for those feelings outside of sports. That's awesome. That's really cool that you, uh, you equate it, that, that feeling, that like adrenaline rush. You know that rush, your heart's beating a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, like where it's like, shit, everybody's counting on me. Like, you know, everybody's watching all eyes on me. It's the same thing when you're in a stadium, 100,000 people, and, you know, you're on the best receiver and you know the ball's coming your way. It's the same type of feeling. And I think it's the same feeling that people search for in life in general, you know, the Absolutely. natural high. Yeah, natural high. Yeah. That's really cool, man. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. when it comes to, when it comes to destiny, like I know Bungie's response to PVP is, you know, it's not exactly fully supported in like the sense yeah. of, of esport and all that. Like how do you, how is, uh, how's G1 approaching the way Bungie's approaching it as well? Like, cause I know there's only so much okay. you can do with Bungie also. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'll come on and say this. I think Destiny is a content-based game. I don't think it's ever going to be an esports game. As much as as much as I want it to be competitive, you know, drenched in sweat, it's never going to be that. It's space magic. It's RNG. Mm -hmm. It's it's community. It's people coming in together and and playing the game and having fun with it. Um, when we initially designed the team, it was there's going to be these tournaments, and I mean, you hear about all these things that might happen, and mm -hmm. they don't end up happening, right? Whatever. Right. Um, we still love the game. I think with G1, we're going to be more content based because destiny is our baby. I'm not limiting to us just destiny either. I'm saying right now, that's my home. That's what I know. That's what I'm comfortable with. Let's start here where we have a foundation and then we'll grow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So I think that's really cool. Cause you know, the whole making an org and competing and going to competitions has been done so many times mm -hmm. that if someone can come into a game and make an org and create something based on content and community and positive mm -hmm. influences and lifting everyone up. Like that's really exciting to see what could happen with G1 going down that road. Yeah. Cause it's a different thing that hasn't really been done before. Yeah. I think a lot of times, you know, there'll be the call of duty league or, you know, the Fortnite stuff. It's, 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 it's completely, it's a completely different strategy when you're talking destiny, because it's not, there's no organized tournaments. Destiny's not supporting the organized. They've never done an organized PVP tournament. And as you can see why, you know, things that have happened these last two weeks, why would they get involved when things, you know, kind of come out like they did? Yeah. It would look bad, right? So now I understand, like, I never understood wh why don't they support the, you know, the, the sweat scene or, or the guys that, you know, play 24-7 and they're sweating, you know. And now I understand more after what happened these last two weeks. I didn't know any of those things. Like, I wasn't involved in those in those type of stuff at yeah. all. I mean, it was a shock for um, the majority of the community. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. But, I mean, we got... I'm not saying we're past it, but I think we we can move forward. Yeah. When you were in a like doing a PvP kind of focused org, what did you make of the return of trials like the last two seasons? Like, were, did you have different expectations for it when it got here, or like, is it good enough? Like, what do you think about it? Cheating's got to end. Uh, I mean, yes. I've, I've talked to everybody. I mean, <laughs> it ruins the integrity of the game. If somebody's taking steroids in baseball, if somebody's taking steroids in football and cheating, it ruins the integrity of the game. I don't care what type of content you put out. I don't care if you put the sickest... Can you cuss on here? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah, fine. Sickest yeah. fucking raid ever. Nobody... It, you, they have to... We have to have to combat cheaters. And you might not ever get cheaters out the game, but at least show that 100,000 accounts got banned one day. I, I would feel much more 
I don't know. It'd be much more rewarding. I, I mean, I'll say it. Um, just with them being transparent, the right? Because it's all like it? it's all like secret, secretly done. Bungie's always kind of done that, where it's yeah. like, like we're banning people, but we're not going to talk about it at all. So I think it would be nice if Bungie was really transparent with some of that stuff. With like, hey, these are the amount of account accounts that we've banned, and of course they don't need to tell us what their anti cheat is or what they're doing specifically because that no. would be bad. But being transparent when people report and get banned is really nice. Like I love those messages in games where it's like your person person you reported has now been banned. I love yeah. that. I want that. Give us that justice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like when Cosmo came out the other day and finally responded to somebody's tweet, we're working on an anti-cheat. I was waiting on that months ago. And they're all my good friends. I love them to death. But just saying that gives the community hope. Just that one yeah, little response exactly. you did. Everybody saw that. I probably got 16 million likes on it right now. <laughs> um, just that one little response. It, like, like it's saying, you know, Bungie's saying, hey, we see you. You know, we hear you. We're working on a plan. I, I don't expect them to put out their battle plans if so somebody mm -hmm. so, so somebody can counter it. But at the same time, I I, I want them to acknowledge it, and because it takes away from the experience. You know, if trials was one of the main reasons I got really addicted to PvP. It, it was mm -hmm. in, in Destiny One. Yeah. It really was. It really was. It sparked a lot so, of careers. Yeah, it really. It's what brought that adrenaline rush that I talk about. Mm -hmm. um, so when they brought it back. You know, even though they brought back the same armor, it brought is that nostalgic feeling it brought they brought back. I, I loved it. I loved everything about it. But then when I got to Widow's Court and there was people on broomsticks frying me as soon as I spawned, then it got a little dicey, right? You guys like, damn, like I still want to play this, but people are just they're taking away the integrity. So Yeah. I think the yeah. like that integrity thing is such a crucial part of the PvP side, if you're going to have rewards attached to it, you know, if it's a mode that people just go in and don't get anything out of it, they're just trying some stuff out in the sandbox. That's one thing. And I could understand them giving less um, attention to it. But when you're going to have quest lines, bounties, pinnacles, yeah. stuff attached to it, they have to pay attention to the bare minimum of the, the cheating problem on PC and fix yeah. that. Yeah. Well, they yeah. promised, they promised from the beginning, like it was gone for so long because they were going to launch it and it was going to be like, fully correct and like all the way baked and stuff and then it, it hit with all these problems anyway and like everyone was just wondering how they didn't see at least some of these come some of that coming which is really frustrating yeah and they've done some good things to combat it like they should have never started out 960 light one like you can make an account and you can grind that in, in one hour you know like the 1010 so if somebody wants to cheat they got to grind a little bit i thought that was huge you know it, it makes it a little bit harder to cheat but at the same time I mean, I think Trials right now, look, the report is, is the least played PvP mode, and that's just unacceptable because it's the best. It's the funnest out of any game I've ever played. It's the best competitive, you know, shooter mode that I've ever played. But unfortunately, right now, it's, you know, there's a lot of cheaters in the game. So Yeah, it's unfortunate. We talk about, like, recovs a lot, and a, a lot of people start saying, well, you mean recovs are just bad across the board? And, like, mainly what we're talking about is recovs end up getting incentivized for using cheats, to get those recovs done yeah. and you could say oh this person's cheating but they might be on a they, they might be someone else on a recov with a cheating software that's doing that so like the original person cheating yeah. is different from the actual account and like that's that's the issues yeah. with this stuff and creating like for me the second and third week i was like oh, i think trials is dead for me because i just <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to deal with yeah. it you know like as yeah, soon as yeah, i see right. cheating in there or like questionable stuff i'm just like why make my blood pressure go up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think another problem too is now we're so scarred of the cheating that when somebody hits a good shot, they're cheating. You know, I catch myself all the time. Like, wow, he's, and I'm like, oh no, nah. GG's man. GG's. I catch myself That's having really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're I like, did oh, have one cheating. weekend where I was like, just assume everyone's cheating. And we kind of made a joke of it where I was just like, he's cheating. Yeah. He's cheating. He's cheating he's too. Cheating, she's yeah. cheating. Everyone's cheating. We're all cheaters. Everyone yeah. is cheating. <laughs> We traded shotguns? <laughs> cheating. Definitely cheating. <laughs> yeah. He married me. Fever like, error. Shotgun hacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, it's so true, though, because, like, you want to say, damn, that was an amazing shot. But then you're immediately like, right uh-uh. Was it? <laughs> did you turn <laughs> on an aimbot? Did you just a little flick a little Are switch? Are you <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks, but um, I definitely still enjoy the PvP side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you been playing Iron Banner this week? Yeah, we played last night. We did a little G1 uh, Iron Banner. It's fun with the connection base, man, because SBM for me, 
not, I'm not point two anymore. So it's a little bit sweaty now. It's almost like trials when I'm going into a sixes match. So that was, that was a nice change to go to connection base where you can kind of use off meta things. Yeah. You don't have to use the spare rations and the mind benders just to make it out alive. You can yep. use whatever you want. And if you have good skill, you can come out on top. Yeah, it's it's been a different uh, Iron Banner, that's for sure. You definitely don't feel like the stringent skill-based matchmaking kick it in, making oh, you be like, crazy. oh, boy. There, there's times where, you know, someone's like a god on another team or um, or, yeah. or someone from G1 is on another team. Yeah. or um, is it, but, uh, but also the connections don't, they haven't necessarily been fixed. There's still a few times where it's like someone's skipping. And it might just yeah. be because of like the fire team composition. Yeah. Yeah, but the at least the player's not... At least you're not going against, you know, Panda every match and, and he's dropping an 80 bomb on, you know, it's just, yeah. it, it's nice to be able to go in there and, and relax and talk to stream at the same time. You're top bragging. Like it's, it's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, it's way more inclusive. Um, yeah. my, my wife has been playing Iron Banner with friends and like yeah. for a while she's been like, oh, I'm just not playing PVP Can't anymore. Like I'm, yeah. it's not fun. But now with um, connection based matchmaking, she's like, Oh, I'm actually having a good time. Like, you know, we're laughing and joking and it's not feeling like they're going up against sweat Lords currently constantly with that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's interesting. I've heard, I've heard a mix, shall we say, uh, I yeah. know there's probably going to be some people yelling about it. If we all uniquely agree. I mean, for me personally, it's been, kind of the same as usual like it, there's a it's a wide range of games like some are total stomps some you do really well but i keep i don't know every time i mention this someone comes with like i got six stacks you know 12 games in a row and like my last 19 matches are mercy so like i it's still not fully fixed but yeah sure I think it also in the right matters like where you are in the world right because i know i have a bunch yeah. of people in our community who are in hawaii which means they match with like the same people all the time and they can't get away from them yeah. So it's it's like if this if this person's really good or this person just has a really bad connection, they have to experience that all the time. So it's it's for sure more difficult for people in lesser populated places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And with the six decks, I think now I think we were like we were so scarred with the skill based matchmaking that you had to be in a stack before it was Iron Banner was tough if you weren't in a stack. Yeah. I think people are still going into Iron Banner like you need to be six stack and you really don't anymore. So I think that's a big problem because you you will get mercy if it is a group of pretty good players. So mm -hmm. I you're right about the meta though. Game. Like the, the meta is a lot chiller. Like just in general, like I am not yeah. seeing spare rations, mind benders, revoker. Nah. It's all yeah. like I mean, gnawing hunger is like the meta thing now, but yeah, it, it's a lot less threatening than it used to be. And like there's a lot a lot more diversity. I'd say the, the yeah. biggest. I was gonna say the biggest change for PvP for me in this stuff is that I can actually round a corner and not be like. If no one's on my radar, I'm immediately going to get sniped. Or if someone is on my radar, guaranteed they have a shotgun and they're like anti as wards, even though those got fixed. But like that it's was sidearm meta, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that was the that, that was just the dominant result of rounding a corner. Now it's like, oh, I can actually just casually walk around the corner, maybe fifty yeah. percent of the time or whatever, and just have fun with what might happen. No doubt. Yeah, I've been doing like I play with people in the stream all the time and everyone in Lamb Squad's just like some kind of tournament player. I don't understand it. So when we go in with a team, they're like mercying everyone. I'm like, guys, what what are you doing? I inspect their loadouts. I'm like, oh, you're using a bow and like something. It's like, okay. So I, I've kind of had the situation which sucks on one side of I don't think I can go in with six people anymore, no matter who they are. Um, so I think what I'm going to start doing is like the three stack or something and, mm, and yeah. trying that out and see how it feels. Cause I've been going in solo when they start mercying people. I'm like, all right, I'm going in solo. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think about a solo queue? I keep hearing that brought up a lot as a possible solution, but I don't know if, I don't know if Destiny could do that to be honest, the because of the, population. the more, yeah, the more playlists we have, the worse the connection is going to be for people. True. Sure. I, yeah, if I anything, I'd like to see them look at their matchmaking maybe. And in, now that it's just there's no skill-based matchmaking, have it be looking based on team size and just more likely match teams with teams. Yeah. Six stack versus six stack, three stacks, two stack. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that for sure. I feel like they tried to do that in the past, but it was just take forever. You know, like, like lobby bouncing. Yeah, they tried. Yeah, because like the issue was that SBMM was extending the times with matchmaking. So connection based matchmaking should just render it super quick. And the times have been faster to get matches with connection based. Well, in, in quotation, yeah, connection based. <laughs>
But yeah. Yeah. I but, think it's better though. Yeah. I think, I feel like if you're a content creator, it's better. I don't really know the majority of the population just yet. Cause I know some people are definitely not enjoying not having SBMM. And I get that. I also understand that there's no perfect solution for this. It just isn't. Yeah. People, yeah. people I mean, have been talking about this for, we've been talking yeah. about this for years and you know, we've had the same conversation like round and round. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, yeah, some people are going to really like skill-based matchmaking because it protects, you know, protects them. And other people are going to really hate it because they only match up against, you know, sweaty, hardcore players. And there's no solution for everybody. Yeah, there's none. Yeah. Well, one thing I learned when Trials came back is I thought I was like a pretty good PvP player, like at least okay. But then I'm always playing quick play and then you switch to Trials and I'm <laughs> just getting demolished. And it's because yeah. I never had to play against anyone that was That's significantly true. better than me. So it gave me this false perception of how I was as a PvP player, which has been totally shattered the last two seasons, but <laughs> slowly putting myself back together. But I, I had no idea that was even happening. But yeah, it's been a, been a hard lesson. I've seen yeah. that. I've seen people talk about that, actually, about how like, oh, man, I had a yeah. false sense of what PvP was. And then suddenly connection <laughs> connection base was like, guess what? This is, you know, it's the Wild West right here. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. But I feel like in, in order for you to grow, though, you have to see someone be really good. And not that you need someone really good every match, obviously. But in order to see plays happen, so, so long as you're not thinking they're cheating, uh, it, when you see somebody doing some crazy plays, like you grow from that, or at least you hope mm -hmm. you hope you grow from that because you think, huh, how could I engage in a, a situation different? Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you don't play with better players and be and play with them, it's going to be hard for you to grow. Mm -hmm. It's like, like well, you're going to have a false sense of, yeah, you know, I'm the sixes, you know, Lord. And then you go into trials and just get wiped. It's a different level when you go into the, you know, like you said, the wild, wild west. Yeah. Guys are communicating, talking, sweating literally trying to go flawless it's it's yeah. you know yeah. it's, it's a completely different level of play um for sure yeah there's also a different mindset that goes into threes and um in the trials experience with the the whole resing and all that because like i know some some people in d1 were just god tier at understanding how to handle a situation i do like a yeah. 1v3s and all that sure. and it, yeah. it doesn't always translate to sixes sometimes sixes is just a mayhem no. show for those people and they're like i don't even know what to do but when it comes down to 3v3 and they're the last one standing on their team like they just they understand everything on the battlefield which is interesting two different mindsets no you're yeah. no you're right i've seen people that can frag out in sixes and then when getting the trials is it's not the same it's not the same player it's completely different yeah so. so what else happened i mean i didn't read the the twab yet so this is going to be a a fresh twab for me Huh. Yeah, I haven't checked it out really. <laughs> a lot it's, of bug fixes. It's gonna be a yeah. freshie. And a tragic a falling guillotine nerf. Well, it's a bug fix. Huh. Well, the yeah. Sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's still gonna do damage when you spin, just not after you spin. Do we really need that nerfed? It was so fun, fun just feeling like Dark Drinker. Yeah. It's still I think it'll still be like good, that. but yeah. I mean, just with Whirlwind alone. Uh, even without the after damage, I think it'll still be top tier. But yeah, yeah, definitely. I like when swords are like top of the meta DPS weapons because there's so much more fun to run in to do your damage like that than it is to stand on the other side of the map and snipe ahead. Yeah, yeah you're right. To, it's so yeah. much more fun, and yeah. like it, they can design encounters around it too. Because you know when uh, when players have to be mobile instead of just. When the strategy is to just find a corner that you're fairly protected in and snipe from there, when the strategy is like run toward the, you know the biggest enemy of them all and use a sword, like it's just it's crazy fun. Yeah, it is more fun. Yeah, yeah you uh, can point to like Cro Crota back in the day, how you had to run up there on your hunter blink yeah. strike, d invisible grab the sword, <laughs> way yep. better than just sniping somebody with is Izanagi's in the back of the map, way better. Yeah. And only one guy was having fun there because the other five guys were standing <laughs> on a ledge because they were protected. <laughs> Waiting for the call out. Or shooting rockets. Rockets? Yeah, shooting you're right. rockets. Yeah, down 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 down. Standing <laughs> up so they can't get attacked by the ads because it hurts real bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kenny, I, I forgot to ask a very important question. Yep. What is your main class? Hunter. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. I mean, <laughs> is it a little weird not playing on a Titan? Just, you know, 
Uh, I turned out when I was <laughs> when I played PVE, like back in D1, I only had one character and I quickly um changed to a hunter and I and wow. I just like the class better. Why do you hate do you warlocks, man? On warlocks. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I like top three gone. I just there's something about just being, I don't know, being fast. I, I just I don't know the jump. Something just, better about sure. being a yeah. being a hunter. It's like a DB. It's like an NFL DB. I don't know. It's just it matches. <laughs> well, I wholeheartedly better, agree. Guy, <laughs> Paul, how do you feel about that? Okay, so by playtime now, <laughs> technically, I am a hunter main. <laughs> Although last time I was here, my portrait uh, that Ash did is me as a warlock. So like that used to oh, be my that main. Hurts, but man. now I play so much across three characters, like. It's it's a very even split. I think Hunter's just edged out because of PvP. Because I, I mostly play PvP with Hunter, but yeah, uh, Ash just still mad about having to draw that. She's like, I can't. <laughs> if I had to draw a warlock. She was so mad. Just the color. Talk little, about it. She had it. She had to throw away her iPad and pen after drawing that. It was <laughs> cursed it's with warlock. It's been sullied. I feel like in D one, I was way more balanced. Yeah, like, I feel like a, you know the noble bomb. You know the blade dancer. Yeah. I just feel like I was, you know, I love smashing on the Titan and the lightning grenades were so good because they were basically like a one hit. Um, you know, the wombo combos, you know, the you know, the warlocks had the scatter grenades that if you hit them just perfectly, the, you would you would kill, kill people. So I'm way more hunter based in D2, but yeah. in D1, I was balanced, honestly. What's your subclass? Go to subclass right now. I was using bottom tree arc. And then, but then I just spectrals is so much faster. Every time I'd pop my bottom tree art, people would just run off, especially top three dons. So, true, spectrals is pretty much the only <laughs> super speed wise that can keep up and you can effectively like kill two people. Otherwise, if you pop anything arc on a hunter, if, if they time it up perfectly, they just run away. It's so slow. Yeah, I found that in well, Iron Banner. I don't like Goldie because you'll get sniped immediately. So, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, once again, we've proven that um, hunters are better here on DCP. Yeah, I'll get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could say, you could say so. <laughs> <laughs> We're having to do an all warlock raid where we compliment warlocks. We feel like this is a punishment. Practicing your backhanded <laughs> compliments. <laughs> it was it was a charity goal for D, uh, for uh, GCX, and uh, we hit that charity goal. And now we have to uh, suffer the consequences. Of doing all the raids as a warlock. Well, complimenting well, them. It's it's all the raids. <laughs> yep. Yep. That'll be it's going to be a long day. <laughs> yeah, we should start planning that probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, we're, we were talking about the TWAB, right? Before we got derailed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to look it up. I haven't, I haven't read it yet. Uh, there's a new... all the, the bugs, yeah. Yeah, there's a new Twitch extension. Oh, oh yeah. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. They modified the Twitch extension. So well, Let's now talk about you... that. Yeah, if you gift if if you gift two time subscriptions to any Twitch streamer live streaming Destiny 2, when they have the official Twitch Destiny extension active, you'll get an emblem? You get an emblem and, and a, a shader. shader. Yeah. And yeah. a shader. More importantly, mm -hmm. the shader. Which is yeah, I bet you can't guess what color they are. It's purple. 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 <laughs> I'm looking at it right here. But purple. I'm it's cheating. uh wow, man. It, this is this is crazy. This was really crazy. I don't know what all of your experiences with it are, but it was. I did a six hour, six and a half hour stream playing Iron Banner, and I don't think there was any point where I was not thanking people for gifting subs or subbing, and it was yeah, it was it's it was insane. I got That's off and I was neat. like, what just happened? I, I needed like four hours to decompress from what happened because I didn't understand what was happening. Was, <laughs> That's uh, amazing. That's really cool. So it, it broke cool. records too because Glad had like yep. 22,000 or something like that. Some sort yeah. of crazy, uh, crazy. sub train. 22,000. Wow. The previous one though was, 20? wasn't it like 12,000? Was that the, the previous record Even on Twitch? That much? Yeah. yeah. Really crazy. Wow. I think he played 40 hours or something like that. Yeah, Before super long stream. And there was some drama going on with that, but let's not get into the drama. But there was, um, no, okay. the, yeah, like the previous record was somewhere around uh, 12,000. Oh, I guess it's 28,000. So he, he broke. Is what it ended on. Yeah, ended uh, at 28, 29,000 in a, you know, every five minutes there's at least a sub. That's an insane streak. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of love. A lot of love. 
Yeah. Yep. I, th- so. I think if they if they keep doing shaders specifically, I think people are like nuts about shaders. Like emblems yeah. are oh fine, God. but like yeah. you can really use shaders like all the time. Yep. You know, no matter yeah. what. So that's what got me. I was like, so I was when I was thinking of setting up like the command in chat for people to find out about it, I was like, exclamation mark shader, because shaders mm-hmm. are exciting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. if they yeah, if they keep adding you know, new shaders and emblems to stuff like this for bounties in the extension. It's just going to happen all over again. Because one thing we know about the Destiny community is they love their emblems and shaders. They will yeah, do anything. Fashion's important, right? Fashion have like 11 important. shades of purple shaders, just, <laughs> just slightly <laughs> adjusted every time. We can get rid of the green part that shows up on my I own. haven't even seen the green when I've used it, but it's one of those Good. ones where it's just, it has a color in it that just randomly appears once out of every eight <laughs> armor pieces. Well, and you can make your cape look like a a, fo- a big piece of foil, which is great. I like tin foil. foil. I cook pizza on it. <laughs> mm-hmm. You put your tin foil hat on when you're speculating about things. Exactly about the enemy race. You know, the new enemy race in the fall. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what what else uh, bug fixes in the twelve? The triumphs. Um, the bug triumphs about killing the the contact bosses that everyone's complaining about like every day. Okay. Um, so it, it hasn't been counting like the big taken bosses you've killed. It counted yeah, one yeah. of the three, I think, and that mm. you need you need that for the seasonal title. So got it. Yeah, I guess that's finally getting fixed. I don't know if it'll be retroactive, but they rotate no. every week. So yeah, there's still plenty. It shouldn't of time. be too hard. To it's pick it back never up. retroactive. <laughs> it is. That's true. It's usually not. <laughs> they're never tracking that in the database. Let's be honest. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's too much. They're fixing farming of cold denial and falling guillotine, so it'll have two perks uh, on the final one. So that's useful. Okay, um, nice. I hope everyone has not been trying to farm those because that's been broken. Uh, I think that's all the major stuff. So it doesn't uh, seem like it's much. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a um, fashion contest, art contest, <laughs> mid-season yeah. twab. Not much. It was very much contest. so. Uh, yeah. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy at all. Next week reset. I have high hopes, but do you think <laughs> think we're going to Titan? Higher, higher hopes. <laughs> think it's going from IO to oh, Titan. I'm... Next reset. It has to. It's been a full month. I mean, I thought it was going to go this week after a three week rotation with That's everything too, switching, yeah. but I was disappointed. <laughs> yeah. So it, love, it has to be. Yeah, Paul's always on the the scope out for new lore pieces that <laughs> drastically change the world. And I get very excited when I, I'm like, oh, what is Every that? Every week. Yeah, we like, read it theory? What's De- going on? Detective Tassie <laughs> on the job. <laughs> and then Bice comes actually, in and he's like, no, actually, he's like, this no, is completely wrong. I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's something we well, could we've talk made about a career actually. out of not listening to Bife. <laughs> we, <laughs> as lore experts, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so that's something plan. we could talk about is the story this week or like what happened. Because we're getting a story mission each week, right? Yeah, what that happened? Gives us more, more lore and stuff. Paul, do you know where we're at with breaking yeah, lore so news? Breaking lore news. So the story <laughs> mission, it's also on a cycle. So like the encounter itself is is week one's encounter again. So yeah. the actual mis- mission isn't different. I think Nakus may have had like one new line or something. But the final piece is just like every week, Eris is deciphering some new word. Um, and then that leads to unlocking a lore entry. Don't remember this week's word, but uh, <laughs> the lore entry was something about... Um, how we didn't learn any lessons from the first collapse like it, it was a great tragedy that no one learned anything from and so it's it's kind of like challenging our notions of what we think it's like the we first know about the collapse yeah <laughs> cusp is um, the word, apparently cusp. yeah so, so the idea is that like we've always had this idea like oh the darkness caused the collapse the traveler came and saved us or whatever but like maybe that's not what happens and maybe we have no idea you know what actually went down and the, the whole kind of overall process of this is we're learning that the darkness isn't just here to like wipe us out they like want to recruit us essentially which is leading us into beyond light uh eris seems really into that idea um like worryingly so um <laughs> and so does drifter so i i think i don't know if we're going to do a literal wow faction split but it does seem like some characters are kind of being pulled more towards yeah. the light or the dark i'm into it here. like what has yeah. the traveler done for me lately nothing really <laughs> i mean there's no ring on this finger. Dull, sort of <laughs> <laughs> sort of i did a lot though <laughs> I didn't know so bad. You know what's interesting is Callus was basically doing the same thing, trying to recruit us. I was gonna say, yeah. where you know yeah. he has the shadows, right? darkness, hello, 
shadow. I'm a shadow. I'm I ready. dig Callus's <laughs> style. Like that's a lifestyle I could get on board with. Yeah, I fuck with Callus. <laughs> yeah, no. a lot of, lot of gold, a lot of wine, a lot of wine, a lot of food. <laughs> oil yeah. He's going there. away. Leviathan's like gone. So I, I'm wondering true, if something yeah. happens to Callus. Have like, you ever seen know... the darkness and Callus in the same room together at the same time? <laughs> right. Not once. Never. Believe me. And that's more like a scion in a mech suit or something. I don't know. I always said he was one of those old old man scions somewhere. Yeah, (laughs) that's definitely him. Oh man. (laughs) But I I mean Leviathan could legit be destroyed. Like I don't know exactly where this is leading, but like the sun setting of the planets seems to be or the zone seems to be like an actual story development, not just Mm. like, eh, they're gone now, like whatever. So if Leviathan's included in that, we could see something callous related that kills leviathan or something i don't know but you know, maybe he's crazy. just take ship and peace out like i don't know he want just it. leaves that, that's all it is he's like you know what i'm good <laughs> i got enough of your bright dust in the tribute hall i'm just I'm yeah. just gonna peace i'm gonna miss that tribute hall man i'm bummed out about that are they are they yeah. seriously removing it that's such a bummer well if they're taking away those assets yeah. to clear off I, the yeah, disk space i, I mean yeah you know, like they got to replace it with something though because that's such a valuable like piece of the, the game farm. for testing they should turn the yeah, farm yeah. into a tribute just hall. a bunch of like scarecrows yeah, that you do like idea. <laughs> that you shoot for damage and stuff <laughs> exactly yeah i love how the farm is staying but you know not <laughs> well it is the farm <laughs> Nagerie, after all. not the tribute right. hall. yeah when's the last time we had to go to the farm for anything Mithrax. Yep, Mithrax for the yeah. uh, outbreak perfected. Or me yeah. going there to try to see the Almighty from Earth whenever when it was supposed to appear in the sky. I go to the farm every week and it was never there. <laughs> no, it was, you couldn't see it from the farm. I didn't even think to no. go there you to look for it. War <laughs> hunter. <laughs> Getting evidence. It's very good use of my time. <laughs> the, the designers a bunch are like, "Crap, we forgot about the farm." <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so did the players. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, uh, Kenny, do you think do you think there's going to be a new enemy race this fall? Do you think? Yep. Yeah. Subclass. Well, or, no. There's definitely a new subclass. All that's the the stasis no. stuff. But do you think, think there's going to be a new like whole new? Yeah, like, like you, you got the hive. fallen, the hive. Yeah. Is there going to be a darkness and enemy race? Topic, fallen hive. I don't know, man. I think Vex are, I don't know. It's that it's it's their time again. I think. I don't know. We'll That's see. That's fair. That's true. I think, yeah. I think Vex is up next up as far as raids and you know missions and I don't know. I just it's been a while. I feel like we'll see. Do you think these are going to be like dark chrome plated Vex that come out of these pyramid ships? You know that have assimilated enemies or something. Yeah, I think I'm thinking like a like a souped up version of like Bog, like you know. Not this, not not a reskin. <laughs> Everybody go crazy, right? But like something, um, something pretty cool with the Vex, definitely. Mm-hmm. I always like the Vex. I always think they're fascinating, yeah. especially with their whole world assimilation type of stuff. Like in terms of fantasy yeah. things in Destiny, I've always found the Vex to be some of the most fascinating. Also, the yeah, time like the Aramis. Aramis. Aramis is the new hot lady in the Destiny universe. Who's Aramis? Oh yeah. Uh, isn't she kind of cold? <laughs> <laughs> She's the uh, the fallen Kel lady. That spaces uh, powers. Yeah, she oh. got four the arms. One got it. Fallen who has has taken charge of the darkness and is actually using dark powers. Hmm. Harness the darkness. So she's amazing. She's yeah. Harness That's why I'm wondering if it's like stasis fallen is like the new. Oh. enemy race yeah. where it'll be like yeah, like like her her little group of people have all been able to take control of the darkness and that's that like would be great because we already had the scorn which are already modified fallen and but... then we have the siva which are modified fallen <laughs> they really like we're just learning yeah. Yeah. fallen love mods they, do. they are big time modders what what makes me think we're not getting a six enemy race is this may have been in the lore i, I can't remember where it's from exactly but like it's the idea that the pyramids are not like ships transporting like things that are like going to come out of the pyramid ships and kill us. It's that the pyramids are entities themselves, like the traveler. So like okay. nothing is like going to spill out of the traveler. It's not like a transport ship. It like is a being in and of itself. So like the pyramids are the race, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's yeah. like a hundred percent true, but that's kind of the impression I've gotten from like what the pyramids are. And like now that they're here, why there's not like stuff coming out of them. And they're mm. just kind of using existing races. 
some like, like they want to recruit us like the traveler recruited us or they want to recruit fallen like the travel you know the same kind of thing except with darkness instead of light hmm. yeah i don't know how i feel about mm-hmm. that i don't love it I, I wish we could just get a six race already but yeah we'll say yeah you know th- there is that race th- that's still in that art book from the original the destiny release oh yeah 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 like a lot of that stuff has yeah. come true eventually, but a lot of it seems like it's just on the cutting room floor. Like, yeah, you know, the space it's so old. It's like how much stock can you fully put in it when it's like seven years ago? But, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, we are finally seeing yeah. uh, pyramid ships. True. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of saw that. We kind of saw the ghosts with Shadow Keep. Yeah, like, those were like the the race. But oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's true. If they like uh, harness those ghosts. Or yep. it really is Dark Guardians that they've collected. And then Aldrin. That would be great. That would be my ideal. Aldrin is the king of it. Guardian. Yeah, he's the king of the Dark Kingdom. Aldrin was the darkness all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm I going I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I banner. Because Iron Banner is actually kind of interesting this time around. I know we talked a little yeah. bit about it. We didn't talk about the weapons at all or the two new oh, yeah. perks. So How good. you find that? I love them. So, yeah, there's uh, Iron Grip and Iron Gaze. And both of these are perks that give you a big boost in something, but also take stuff away from you. So it's a, a give and take. Um, and then there's the Sidearm and the Assault Rifle that that is up for grabs this time around. I'm going to say Twitter seems really excited about that assault both rifle. Both of them are really good. Yeah. 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 The sidearm is one of my favorite weapons in the game now. Wow. It, I haven't tried the sidearm. It's mm. really good. It's it destroys auto- everything. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, what, what makes it so good? Yeah. What makes it so good? I don't freaking know. It goes pew and things die. It's amazing. Really? Well, that's, <laughs> that's a feature. <laughs> the role, the role barely even seems to matter. It's just so I good. Say, I will say I think Iron Gaze is not very good just because the range fall off is is very very bad. Like you, it it's it kind of kills the gun. I wouldn't I wouldn't put that in the loot pool that you want for the auto, but no. I think it's a good gun if you get the right perks. <clears throat> yeah, and the the sidearm I have a I have two roles that I've really liked. One's definitely not perfect, but it has range finder and a range masterwork on it which makes the sidearm actually pretty viable at ranges that you wouldn't expect. Um, and then there's one with Killing Frenzy and Kill Clip. Yeah. Which That's is, what? of course, really well, you great. You just convinced me to compete in the Iron Banner this week. <laughs> well, you should. Get you some Charge with Light. Get you a Kill Clip. Mm-hmm. You can at least get two drops if you do the quest. After yeah. that, who knows? But <laughs> <laughs> that, I've gotten I've gotten two sidearms after doing all the pinnacle bounties on three characters. So not really, great. even turning in tokens. Yes. Yeah, I mean, there's wow. there's eight weapons in the pool, and there's five pieces of armor, and I got a whole lot of Cremiel's daggers, but okay. <laughs> two sidearms. Paul, Damn. Paul, quick tip: just get the drop. Yes. Okay. Just when you token, yeah. put in tokens, sure. get the drop. You're good to go. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, that's what I've been doing wrong. So. <laughs> you say salad. Salad, man. Come on. Give me the drop. <laughs> we do need another PvP Briar stream, though, because we need to hear the Wu-Tang call-outs again. Okay. Everyone enjoyed that, that Briar. The entire world <laughs> enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who got me to do that? Was it... Uh... Oh man, I can't believe I'm blanking his name. I can picture his face, but I can't. But uh, anyhow, somebody in chat said, uh, "Every time you get a shotgun kill, yell out Wu Tang," <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. It was it was the best thing. Uh, so I got. I have not tried those weapons out yet, but I am interested in finding mm, the right role potentially. Although if I <laughs> end up having Paul's. Uh, Luck, and that's gonna suck. But uh, I got you... I got a great AR. But yeah, it's sidearm, yeah. dynamic cool. sway, and then iron grip. So it's just and stability masterwork. So not it doesn't move. It's oh, a nice. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, those it. are the roles like dynamic sway and tap the trigger, dynamic sway, iron grip, anything that just makes it super stable because it already kills really fast. You don't need damage perks okay. on it. Do you play on PC, Paul? <laughs> I play PvP on console mostly, and then I play PVE on PC. 
where it's easier. Okay. Cuz I, I don't <laughs> find I find that when I'm using a mouse and keyboard, I don't really look for um like recoil fixes cuz everything just yeah. feels stable with a mouse. But yeah. when I'm playing on uh, with a controller, I definitely am looking for recoil fixers. It's yeah. yeah, it's it's huge on controller especially. Um yeah, PC it's like kind of a whole other set of priorities, so that's the problem. It's like I farmed all my PVP rolls for console, so to switch them to P like to PC it doesn't always go so well. Yeah. Not to say you either one, the sidearm is good. Yeah. Control it. Yeah. Yeah. Just get uh, anything yeah. on the sidearm and you'll like it. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Anything on yeah, the Yeah. I was like, oh, this roll seems really great. And then I was like, I think any sidearm is great. And this sidearm like, is ridiculous. Could great. this like satiate short term the want and need for the Drake's promise? I don't know. We're getting an exotic sidearm this season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Drake is pretty good still. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is it the Uber tuber? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rat King has, has been my baby for a long time, especially with the Catalyst. It is absolutely amazing. But this new, new sidearm is really, really great, especially with the Charge with Light stuff, man. Mm. Like, you throw the Charge with Light mods on, and you just get extra damage, and it's great. Man, I don't know what it is. Like extra damage. Every time I use a sidearm, I'm like, why am I using this sidearm? It's killing me. What? No, they're so fun. The They've been yeah. underrated okay. for a year. They're so good. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You just run after you run at people, you jump, and you just press the button. Hmm. Yeah. But you're a hunter. You can have trick sleeves. It's like the perfect <laughs> sidearm class, even. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could have a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. No. Shotguns are boring. You get to laugh at the people trying to shotgun you. That's hmm. more fun. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I still true. use Arantel, and I, I do like me some Arantel. And I, people Did get you triggered. Know that, like, Tefty was using Mountaintop and Iron Banner. I just want everyone to know that. That doesn't surprise oh, me one no. bit. <laughs> All right. Like, oh, no. Hold up. <laughs> Cringe. I had to get sidearm kills, okay? And tickling his warlock. It's not a sidearm. Tickling Jesse. someone with it. the mountaintop. Also, Norseman had just gotten the mountaintop, and I was like, I will be a mountaintop bro with you, even though this is toxic and awful. And then toxic. just like literally seconds later, I'm like sniping people oh, with it. I'm like, oh, God. This weapon's god awful. You're uh, pretty loose with the truth there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was a, it was a few games. The whole team was using mountaintop. Does not make this better. This makes it much worse. <laughs> much much worse. Listen, I hadn't Your used mountaintop in PvP in a long, long time, and then Norse was trying it out, and I was like, ah, I guess I'll equip this for the sidearms. And then I sniped people. I was getting double kills and direct hits, and I was like, Yeah, god. yeah. I was, yeah. And you then I put I put my build on. <laughs> I was had scavenger and like the extra super energy from mountaintop kills. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> all over Charles yeah. right now. Like if you're not playing against a cheater, you're playing against a mountain topper. I promise. Oof, that's it's rough. The worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it makes me very sad. Delete it. <clears throat> Legitimately, I cannot wait for that gun to get sunsetted out oh, of this yeah. stuff. Like it's bad. all of sunsetting is worth it just for no more mountaintop. Yeah, yeah. That's my <laughs> controversial <laughs> opinion. <laughs> How dare you call me out of Mountain Top? That's awful. <laughs> it is crazy though. They can make an average team good. Like it really can. Like, it changes everything. Yeah. You guys want to do some Twitter questions? Sure. 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 Let's do it. Uh Parth Gaming, hashtag Black Lives Matter, says, How does it feel to go from NFL player to being a live streamer? And how did it all start? Uh I guess it started about a year ago. Um, I haven't been streaming as much, like I was explaining earlier. Just kind of help helping out with the org, but um, no, nah, it's an easy transition. It, it gives me something to keep my mind off football. Honestly, it's it's like mental and physical warfare during the season and gaming. Like right when I put my headset on, it's like I'm going to like a different universe. I can't. I'm just playing the game. I'm focused on the game. Um, my girl gets mad all the time because she says I'm not worried about anything but what I'm doing in front of me. So. I think it's an escape for me. I love it. Uh, Phil says, for Kenny, choose a player in the NFL that best represents each class type in Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to go... Let me go with Aaron Donald as a Titan. He's the best defensive tackle in the league. I'll go with Patrick Mahomes as a as a Warlock. He's just a wizard with the ball. He can do all types of crazy stuff, but just like Top Tree Don. And I will go as a hunter. I won't choose myself. I'll choose Jalen Ramsey. He's, he's like the number one corner in the league. 
<clears throat> you went nice. wholesome and flattering on that. Impressive. <laughs> that was. That was very impressive. Could have gone another way. <laughs> Uh, this week, a video game says with Eris revealing to the drifter this week that she wasn't the one singing to Shax on the moon. What do you think the next steps are for Shax in this lore? He realized he got bamboozled. Yeah, I might need help on that one, right? Mm. <laughs> Paul, our resident lore expert, yeah. please explain this. Please the lore lore expert. Paul. Paul, you're up. Paul, yeah. you're up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, the reveal is that. Um, Sabatoon's been hanging out in the big skull that hangs over Shax and like whispering things to him. And then we had the thing in Season of Dawn where he's like, oh, did you hear that song Eris sang me? And then in the Prophecy and Dungeon, the there's... Yeah. It's made you can, of seas. Yeah, that song. Gotta, you can keep going. <laughs> no, no, I'm okay. fine. <laughs> Full recital, um, please. <laughs> the, the Drifter and Eris are talking and they're, they're talking about how she didn't sing him any song and now she's worried about that Savathon has been like whispering that that tune that like corrupting tune you can't unhear wow uh and then i won't go too deep into this but there's a whole lore card told from the perspective of Savathun in the skull <laughs> like um looking out it's it's kind of unclear whether she's talking about Shax or zavala because you can kind of see both of them but the idea is that she might be like secretly trying to corrupt some of our our big stalwart you know light bears in the tower mm -hmm. which is very interesting. It's kind of like not... Babylon, the anime, but in Destiny. I know all of you guys. I will take your word for that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like that. The woman in that show is a crazy bitch. So is Savathun. It all makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's all connected. <laughs> oh, and this all yeah. this might play into theories that Eris and Savathun may end up merging or being the same person or something like that. So mm. crazy times. Or she's like some sort of conduit of Savathun or something. Yeah. I mean, as I said, she's really into the darkness, so yeah. we'll see. <laughs> as long as I get my stasis power. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be I'll be into the darkness too for that. So. Uh Sam says, what is the most important part of the game to you? Like story, gameplay, mechanics? Um it have to be, I mean, gameplay, obviously. I mean, I guess, but that all kind of ties in together. The mechanic, the gameplay, which requires certain mechanics. Um, I don't know. I guess the, the most important thing in the game for me right now is, is taking away the cheaters, I'd say. That's about it. Um, <laughs> but as far as content, I think Destiny's done a really good job of all, like, I, I think we're spoiled with Destiny, honestly. I think guys, they data mine it. They grind, they stay up all night for the first week and do every single thing and they complain about not having content. It kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. Like, and I don't know if y'all do that, but I'm just saying, like, no, I feel no, like they're trying to put out content as much <laughs> as they can, but people do it immediately and they don't sleep until they get it all done. And then they complain about there being no content. So I think they do a great job of combining all three of those things story, gameplay, and mechanics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Destiny is a really unique game. All it things is. considered it in the really gaming is. industry, it's very unique experience that they're able to put this much content and have this type of world still evolve, even with all the problems that it has. Uh, but I think the thing that, that keeps it coming back for me is the the gameplay. Because if yep. the gameplay isn't polished or there or makes me want to come back, then I wouldn't I wouldn't come back for this stuff if it wasn't as enticing as it is. So it's always been the gameplay, the experience of being a yeah, guardian. It's yeah. the gunplay, right? It's the bungee feel of guns. Mm -hmm. Like it just That's feels it so is, good. Really. Everything feels so good. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Lord Beer says, "Hear me out. Hear me out. A game mode where you can use an exotic in every slot." What do you guys think? Oh. I feel like that would I, crash the game somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it would just be it filled fun with people hating. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what would be a combat? Like, let me think of like, what would be a crazy combo? Three yeah. exotic grenade launchers. <laughs> Maybe like a. Before All right, I don't like this idea. <laughs> Maybe you can use like anarchy with like Izzy's and something else. Like, I don't know. What would be another good. The armor would be the crazy part because those would all be yeah. active at the same time. That You'd would have be like Dragon Shadow, Worm Husk, Stompies, <laughs> and like, you know. Um, Caras or something like they would just be. I, I think it'd be fun. I just know knowing the game, I feel like it would, it would crash something. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be insane as a hunter. 
you would be even the act of trying to put two exotics like in the same thing would probably somehow just crash the game by itself like, imagine like yeah. dodging and you that heal and you reload yep. <laughs> yeah that would be wild. <laughs> this had never right. happened because they'd have to almost have like a separate build of the game just to allow for it. Yeah. It's it one of those happened. things that sounds easy and then it's like probably. Yeah, it would like probably work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it, definitely not. It's like the loadout stuff. Whenever someone mentions like, hey, why don't you have a specific loadout for uh, for PvP? So you can't have like this type of problem that's happening right now. It's like, I don't think that's an easy. I, I don't think it's easy for them in the engine to just limit what yeah. people can equip and not equip like they have to lock it yeah. you can't can't do the encounter until you've have everything in it yeah it's just they would be yeah. too problem too much problem yeah so uh, pete xn said considering a certain someone poking his head back up i ask of the crew and the community how do we keep the conversation about fostering positivity a positive environment going forward and how do we collectively grow that Change starts at the bottom, and we're all a small subset of gaming. Hmm. Well, I think with I was going to get to this earlier, but I think with I think right now, as far as the PvP side that you know we all love, um, there's a healing process that has to start. I know with G1, me, Hunter, and Cody, the other owners of G1, talked about we are going to do community tournaments one, once a month, charity with like 16 teams, 16 staples in the community um that will do a draft tourney so we've always done these we've done you see the sweat tourneys where only certain teams can play but what we're going to do is have watts have you know glad have you know all captain right and they're just choosing out the community um players on their team kind of like a twitch rivals almost but within our own community um we're going nice. to start that within That'd a month really fun. um just because it it's it includes everybody. It, it includes the guy that's point two, like I used to be six years ago. That's scared to get in the PVP. It includes the guy that's improved. That's that's starting to be really good at trials. It includes you know some of the sweat lords that are good people that you know go crazy every time they get in the crucible. And then it, it, I think it just brings the community together. Um, we're actually just in the in the talks right now of reaching out to you know a group of people. Doesn't matter your skill set. It's not all all about skill set, but about bringing the community back together. And we'll do a draft tourney. Um, we'll put, we'll, we're going to put all proceeds go to charity and we're going to try to do it once a month. That sounds yeah, awesome. I, Great I idea. love that because the PVP has felt, especially in destiny and in most games, it feels very exclusive in that, you know, it's really hard to get into. It feels like there's this click together and it's hard to kind of break into that world yeah. where that is kind of changing that and being like, Hey, everyone can get involved. PVP doesn't have to just be for the most competitive top tier people. Like everyone can hop in and have a good time with PVP. It's fun. So I, I, yeah. I really like that. Yeah. We're going to try to, you know, bring everybody together, you know, whether it's, you know, Grenader Jake or, you know, just guys that are, they've been great in the community, you know, um, people look up, look up to them. And then also the experience of, you know, somebody getting to play with their favorite streamer would be really dope. I mean, it's going to be tough, right? Yeah. RNG's going to, easy to make it on one of those teams but at the same time i think it's best for the community i think destiny is a community game i think it's it is what it is and i think that'd be a lot of fun and it'd be a lot of healing done as far as the P pvp scene goes i'd love to see that tournament where the streamers were coaches but didn't get to play so that they only all they could do is try and coach their team that that they got That's like randomly idea. selected to you know, that was their version of competition. So it was like if they got six yeah. people and like it ranged from somebody with like a 1.0 down to like a, like you said, 0.2 KD. Yeah. And then they, they have to like coach him to, to like win the tournament. That'd be really fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. There's a lot of really fun things that you can do with it, right? You can have a bunch of a bunch of fun kind of sub tournaments of stuff like that. Cause the idea can be stretched to so many different things. Yeah. That's that's what makes it really special. Yeah, yeah. I love that idea. Yeah, that's having like a welcoming, fun, lighthearted PvP place though would be amazing. Yeah, because like, yeah, people like to play PvP, yeah. but people do not like the toxic community that has formed around PvP. No, we're gonna try to recreate that kind of like rewrite the, you know, the image, you know, repaint the the image of what PvP is because it's it's not that point one percent that you know people think about that's that's a small small piece of what pvp is it really is there's no mm -hmm. there's only a, there's a very very small group of people that are that good <laughs> and the rest are we're all just trying to you know have fun have a good time so 
I think when we start these tournaments in, you know, a couple of weeks to a month, hopefully, you know, everybody's in and down that we reach out to and it'll, it'll be really good. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah, that I sounds was, great. I was going to say that I think like part of the thing that happens when, um, when I guess like communities get bigger and a, like a kind of a status quo kind of gets established is that a lot of gatekeeping starts setting in. And like, you notice that a lot in PVP, but it's been happening in PVE yeah. as well. People gatekeeping like, mm -hmm. oh, you need this emblem. You need this many clears for a raid. Oh, it's bad. All this crap. Bad. Yeah. And that's, you know, in the early days of D1, there was so much, let's, let's get you that drop, you know, like, come on. I mean, there's still, there still was, yeah. um, gatekeeping. Don't get me wrong. Must have Gallahorn. Yeah. Must have <laughs> Gallahorn was still a thing, but there was a lot of people that like just championed the idea of being Sherpas and wanted to help people through content that they, um, they knew like seeing someone get their drop for the first time was an amazing, uh, a good feeling. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I feel like, uh, I, I guess, where I'm going with this is that the community kind of needs to take a step back and look at how much gatekeeping has happened and look at the points where you can pull that out and start being more inclusive about everybody just loving the game, you know, cause like you said, if someone's a point two or point one, but they still love PVP, like that person deserves mm -hmm. to be a part of the community and a part of the PVP community, you know, and same thing with people trying to get into rating and, and just wanting to experience what destiny is when it's at its best. A community yeah yeah. Definitely. yeah i think we got to remember what what has happened over the last couple of weeks or not not what's happened over the last couple of weeks but what we've learned over the last couple of weeks and we need to we need to recognize that that's happened and move forward with the knowledge that we can do better we need to look at ourselves personally and make sure we're not part of the problem and we're not allowing others that we are you know playing with or you know friends with to be part of the problem you know, we do. We need to make sure that we're we're growing and fostering, you know, welcoming, warm communities. You know, inclusive communities, free of all that bullshit that yeah. was going on. You know, and you know, on an individual level, I think we have to work to not only make sure that we're, we're like we are doing better as people, like as individuals, but that we are also advocating for a better for a better community. Mm -hmm. No yeah. doubt. I'm I'm being harder yeah. on myself, you know, just to just so I recognize what I am doing, like the words that I'm saying, how I'm talking yeah. about people, like all of that. I want to make sure that I am doing everything that I do in a way to make people feel welcome and comfortable and happy and just enjoy playing video games. Man, well, unless yeah, you're well, it's, well, it's your super, I mean, obviously super toxic. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and I think sometimes the word toxic, right, is you know. <laughs> is what we saw like in those you know in those articles that dropped last week but just because somebody talks shit a little shit a little banner i don't i mean I, I play sports so that's normal to me i don't think that should discourage somebody from stop playing the game like right. if somebody bags me i laugh I personally I, I, some people think that's toxic i think it's gone since gone on since halo so i don't care really um what what was going down like in that article that was that's toxic when you're raiding people's discords yep. saying racial slurs and you're going in people's streams harassing them um that's toxic they just because you're you're competitive and it get things get a little heated sometimes i i wouldn't put that in the same category as just being a shit person you know so. yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely that's why i'm like being harder on myself with the type of words that i say because i don't want toxic to be all-encompassing for like someone who called me an asshole for using a sidearm and someone who is being racist and doxing people exactly. it is not the, it's not the same so yeah. we just need to be aware of our language and like yeah. make sure that that we're doing good things for the community yeah yep yeah. with the whole positivity thing it's it's important to be positive but i think it's also important to not just gloss over what's happened either. Yeah. And I know yeah. a lot of people are just like, oh, let's just post memes and move on and stuff. And like, I mean, I've been angrier on, on Twitter the past two weeks than I've ever been. And I, I mean, just for how this is, you know, affects people I know and, and me personally. And it's just, yeah. I think it has to be called out to a certain extent. Like it can't just be a total moving on. Like there is now active uh, deplatforming happening, and that's kind of things that are necessary in order to move on. Like you can't really just fully ignore these problems until they are actively dealt with, and then you can kind of go on and like rebuild, reform, heal, and exactly. stuff like that. So it's it's two parts of the process. Like yeah, I know I know you know too because you had to do the same thing, but it's it's going to be a long process, and 
you know, who knows if this is, I doubt this is the last time we'll deal with something like this, yeah. but no. it's, it's two sides of the same coin. It's, it's dealing with the issue first and then figuring out how to pick yeah. yourself up after and, and keep going. Yeah. If you don't, no if you don't pay attention to the weeds growing in your garden, they eventually take over and like, it's unrecognizable. So yeah. you gotta, you gotta yank that stuff and clean it up. Yeah. Sometimes those weeds are sneaky. You yep. just gotta make sure you're taking you know. out. Yeah, exactly. You gotta look behind the plant to find the weed yeah. sometimes. You gotta yeah. take it out. By the way, we all this gardening know. analogy is yeah. really bad. <laughs> all right, all right. We wanna go <laughs> outside and start weeding right away. <laughs> we all we all have gardens, right? We're all growing tomatoes, peppers, it's right? Sunlight. Yes. 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 Okay. Chloroform. <laughs> Chlorophyll, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. <laughs> That's different. Okay. <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> big, big Cal the bird says, I did not do well in science. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think <laughs> Do you guys think that they'll change cold heart from Ar from arc to stasis in September? I've heard that. Sure, why not? But a few Me people talk about that. Sure. It makes yeah. sense. Ice is icy. Cold hard icy. Yeah. Ice is icy. Now, great. I've been saying stasis is ice, and a lot of people have been like, whoa, 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 Taft. Whoa. It's not. Ice? It's stasis, man. It's the darkness. It just looks cold. It looks icy to me. It's, Dark ice. Maybe yeah. it's only taking Dry the ice. form of ice because you're on an icy planet. Okay. Maybe. Maybe when we'll we go to a different planet. Just not necessarily freezing with ice if that makes sense like it's almost more of a it's almost more of a time thing i think where it's like yeah, they're, time control they're stopping time mm -hmm. around someone's spot i don't know it it's just with ice, ice whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's time control that looks icy okay they're different uh, christopher jode says <laughs> there are rumors floating around that mark hamill voices nocris in the new story missions that being said <laughs> What voice actors, other than Tom Skerritt, would you like to hear in the Destiny universe? Morgan Freeman. 100%. Mm, that'd be a good one. That would be. That'd be a good one. Easy. That was an easy one. Um, I, think. I read an article today about Giancarlo Esposito from Breaking Bad mm. saying he did a voice in a big new game he can't talk about. And I'm like, I hope really? it's Destiny. But Who's that? I don't, I, don't, I don't know that name. Uh, he's the guy from Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, the uh, the mob boss. The mob mm. boss. Okay. What's his name in the show? I can't remember his name in the show. But wait, the chicken man? Yeah, the chicken man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gus Gus Frank. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> but he's amazing. Yeah, that guy's guy. awesome. Oh, it Ooh. might be cyberpunk. Yeah, that's true. Who's the voice of Mufasa? What's his name? He's a, he's in mm -hmm. Sandlot. That's a good one. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> that guy? That's a good one. What's his name. The voice of I who? can't think of his name. Mufasa. Mufasa. Lying oh, oh, wait. Uh, oh, uh, James Earl. Yeah, James Earl Jones. Jones. Yeah. See, but there he's you still go. Alive. That would be a good one. That'd that's a good awesome. one. But it's really good. Recognizable, though, you know, like, like, damn, that's Mufasa, actually. You know, who knows? <laughs> I need to Google if he's still alive. <laughs> James yeah, right. yeah, he's still alive. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, he is. Uh, he uh, oh. <laughs> I just Googled it and got an article that says, no, James Earl Jones is not dead. Okay. Come on, <laughs> man. Because <laughs> they were excited that he was able to do it, the voice in the new one, like the new Lion King. Okay. Mm. This is my journalism skills at work. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. I, I think I, Jackson. I think Christopher Walken would be an interesting, uh, like take. You know, <laughs> be like, the voice of the darkness. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you want this stasis? Johnny Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Reginald says, do you think Zavala and Ikora will split? Ikora at the beginning of the year had the Dorito overlooking her while Zavala had the Traveler overlooking him. Could be foreshadowing Ikora being the ones to officially fall to darkness. That would be an epic battle, but Ikora is going to kick his ass. Oh, she would yeah. definitely tear it yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, whichever side Ikora is going, I'm going on that side. Definitely. Yeah. That's just self-preservation. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna nova bomb a Dorito ship, man. Yeah, right. Beat. I think she'll stay light. Honestly, I think Eris will be the one of her friend group to split. And if Zavali yeah. gets corrupted by the whole skull thing, that would be a real, you know, heel turn. If he if he ended up being darkness, I want so. him to I want him to walk out of his closet one day, out of his little office thing, covered in the bones that have been speaking Savathun twisted stuff to him. <laughs> 
That's what I want. Zavala, I want a big reveal. Full bone armor. Full yeah. bone armor. Savathun That'd be the first time I was interested him. in him as a character, yeah. to be honest with you. <laughs> you're, That's you're, what I mean, exactly. It would be such a good turn for him because he doesn't yeah. do anything else. Your guardian actually speaks again. Is like, Zavala, are you, uh, you okay? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> you okay, man? You good? You good? You good? Yeah. <laughs> Alex says, uh, what positions do you think Destiny characters would play in football? Cade, Shax, and Ikora. Cade, DB. I mean, this is kind of like the same question I answered earlier. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know I'm like, uh, I guess Shax could be a li- would be a linebacker, a bigger guy. Shax has got to be a coach, doesn't he? Yelling, yeah. yelling instructions. <laughs> yeah, I guess the way he is yelling. He could be a coach or a GM. And I guess Ikora... Oh, quarterback. She's like a yeah, she like throws those long bombs. She would be, yeah. Yeah, on Nova bombs. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I feel like you'd recruit smart. some. You'd recruit some Cabal Colossus to be linebackers, right? Yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Uh, Clifton Ampen- Ampensaw says, instead of sunsetting armor, why not sunset mods? They'd ha- they would have to be removed in all content after a certain time, but this con encourages players to go after the new mods instead of acquiring new gear with previous stat rolls. Uh, I don't love it. You got to have a reason to go for armor or else you're just going to have one set you use for five years. Like, yeah, it would get old real quick. I think, um, and mods are one time. So like you get them once, you never have to get them again. So that's not really a farm. I'm cool with sunsetting the, the mods or whatever, but yeah, the armor you want to, you got to have something to go for a goal. Like, Oh, I want that set or, you know, it definitely can't do that. So. Yeah. It, like that's the tough balance with the game. Like destiny right now is that if you're going to make it more MMO style, you have to have that, that loop of trying to get stuff. And a lot of people want to get their loot and then be like, that's it. <laughs> I got my gun. I'm good for five years. Like that's not, that's not destiny when you have multiple expansions no. and, Time goes on. Yeah. Spez says, What kind of grenades are you hoping to see from the new subclasses? Mm. Jason's grenades? (laughs) (laughs) Icy grenades? Black Uh, ice on the floor and the enemy. Yes, can't stop that. (laughs) Yeah, like maybe a grenade that doesn't actually do damage, but it slows people or makes them fall on their ass yeah i am actually really down with an ice on the floor grenade like it makes <laughs> yeah. just guardians go Flip flying that. across the room <laughs> they can't you know really cool is like a uh, a stun grenade i don't know if y'all play cod but like if you get stunned bro like you can't move for like a little bit i think that'd be yeah, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. but like yeah. you can be like, oh i stunned him push in you know it'd be a good time to like you know attack that'd be really cool um yeah stun grenade <laughs> yeah Hmm. I saw a Sub Zero in chat. Said I'm trying to be Sub Zero in September. What if like you throw it and it's actually a Sub Zero like you know projectile type of thing? Mm-hmm. That's your nade and it freezes them. It's just like an ice. And then you, that could be like a melee or something. And then you rip. Yeah, you, that's a melee like, yeah. projectile. Like oh, that's fire, true. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. would be cool. Yeah. yeah. What about like that would a, be really cool. a smoke grenade with the darkness class that like you could pick people up. Like you smoke the ground. And you they can't like. You can't be shot, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can shoot through the smoke, but you can't see the other guardian. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm. say I'm trying to res watch or something. I, I throw a smoke grenade in front of her, and I can pick her up. Like, she still can get shot, but you can't see like where the head is. You're not hitting all crits. That'd be uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Like a miss. How about yeah, like a cool. bouncy ball a grenade that just keeps bouncing off of walls? It never stops. <laughs> it never. It stops. only it only <laughs> blows up when it comes into contact. It's an icy something. beach ball. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, like I like the idea line. of <laughs> I like the idea of stasis being yeah. like this crowd control thing. So stuff that comes from like supporting or crowd controlling is is nice. I like that. Yeah, except for what's it? Arc web, except for that crowd control. Yeah, <laughs> that's to crowd that's control by just murdering control. the crowd. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's just get rid of no more <laughs> arc web. Let's that's get rid of that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh Callum mcpherson says could bungie have managed pinnacle weapons better do you think if two to three seasons after release they had added pinnacle perks example master and arms to the regular loot pool this would have helped the frustration uh from players 
that would break the game. My, yeah, you I think can't. my frustration with pinnacles is they a force metas like the revokers, mm -hmm. the pinnacle. Everybody's getting sniping. If they were when the recluse was the pinnacle, everybody was using you know subs. So the worst one was mountaintop. Pinnacle. Right, everybody using yeah. grenade launchers because they had to get. Oh, now, now you're turning it. <laughs> <laughs> Tough D. Meanwhile, is sitting there stroking his mount top, just like, yeah, this thing's awful. <laughs> Rough, <laughs> days. <laughs> Rough days. Rough days. Mm, very bad. I, I feel bad because I actually really enjoyed triple nade launcher when I got the mountain top. I was using fighting lion. Like That's I because you're a bad person. No, it's because <laughs> I loved Halo Reach <laughs> and I used the pro pipe and Halo Reach like I was a wizard, man. No, no. That it's wizard. because you're a narc. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Defund deny it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I need to start some sort of like dark meme about Briar to get him back on this. <laughs> Take away the beer from Briar. Too Take the truth the isn't a meme, my friend. <laughs> Uh, uh whip says do you think we'll get to fight side by side with mithrax again in beyond light i really hope we do bring in the house of light into the fold would be an incredible advantage against aramis yeah yeah that's what i want that's what I mean, it does something this time instead of just <laughs> teleports in to kill a dragon and leaves for a whole mission yeah, <laughs> yeah I whatever the I mean, next I've, I've always wanted like a full... is go ahead what? I always right. wanted like a full fallen class at some point. Like I figured back when we were all dreaming about Destiny Three, like someday yeah. they become like our full on allies. And like I don't think that's gonna happen, like a class, but it does make sense for kind of a lot of the remaining fallen to that would be amazing. join up with ours. To have a yeah. fallen class would be stupendous. Just uh, hearing Bungie it, crying the next, about the like, armor design, that would be so impossible compared to the other <laughs> ones. True. But God. Whatever, like, the next big thing is in Destiny, like, whether that's Destiny 3 or, like, something else, like, along the line, I hope they figure out a way to have NPCs battle with us in, in like, story events in a better yeah. way than what's going on. It's, like, every once in a while, we, we see them in a room where they're kind of participating, but it'd really be fun like to have a couple of story missions where we actually like go and fight alongside one of the NPCs. I think that would help help us bond with those NPCs a little better. Yeah, that would be. Dope. I mean, yeah, it kind of sets up for Mythrax because he was having the yeah the the House of Light. Aramis is taking control of the darkness and using darkness powers. It checks out. Lore expert says this makes sense. Seems legit to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alex says, take talk. Okay. Taking about this with friends, talking about this with friends last night. If a fourth class was added, what would you want it to be? I think we already talked about it. A fallen class. Oh, class, class. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Class? Not subclass, like class, like full on, like, like a like new warlock. Hunter, warlock. Titan. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, that would be awesome. So good. Um, besides that, up? I don't know what other like archetypes there would be that we don't really have. I don't know. Some sort of, it could be some sort of like, ninja. Cyborg. I don't know. Maybe I'm a dancer. Oh, ninja's good. Ninja. <laughs> say dance. say <laughs> dancer. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's very Alec powerful and... in final fantasy 14. Okay. Dancer class. I'm right. on board. Yeah. <laughs> I want that. That's what I want. I want to make, we music. could reuse the, the, um, the warlock robes. <laughs> Have them kind of. We already got them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, I Kelly think the, no, the no meme answer is definitely fallen. Playing as like a fallen captain or something like that. Yeah, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. Kelly Lock says, like Shadow Keep, do you think we'll get a Vex themed season since there are Vex on Europa and all over the trailer? I'll cheat with another question here. Do you think we'll get a Vex or Fallen raid? Yeah, I said that well, earlier. It's the okay. Deepstone Crypt is the raid, so I don't know. Robots. There's, they're robots. Exo. Well, it's Exo. New enemy race is Exos. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there um, you go. New enemy race is Exos. We figured it out. I think it's got to be Fallen with Aramis. I, I just, it would be weird if Aramis was leading the Vex. That's what just something they're making? That's a whole nother twist. She's embracing the darkness, and now she's also leading the Vex. Maybe the she's making Exo Fallen. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, I that would be fallen. awesome. Oh, Maybe cool. they have oh, What ghosts? if the Fallen take over the crypt and they start making exo versions of Fallen? That would be sick. 
Mm. That's yeah, too, that's too that much to hope for, thick. but <laughs> <laughs> that's already way too high expectations, but that'd be great. Cool. Red elephant two forty seven says three man raids. Question mark, question mark, question mark. You mean dungeons? That's a dungeon. Dungeons. Yeah, we got dungeons. Yeah, that's like are they asking oh, us are cool. to do a three man raid? <laughs> Is that what the question is? Crota? What? <laughs> I've never tried, but sure. I I just wish the dungeons had better loot. More raid like loot. This yeah. this loot pool is hilarious. It's like right? so all over the place. It's not like terrible. It's just like so random. It's like, oh, it's the Eververse set and the trial set and some EP weapons. Yeah. Yeah, the loot's kind of shit, but the dungeon's dope. Yeah, they, dungeon they put all this dope. time to make an amazing encounter like the dungeon. And then it's like, oh, yeah. well, there's some mediocre loot for you to go and get. You want a death adder? <laughs> <laughs> it's the new recluse haven't you heard right yeah i did get my my new favorite sniper from there though so can't complain oh the what's the it called the, the, the bite the widow's something? bite yeah what is oh bite? it's widow's bite yeah yeah that's very snappy feeling on controller after that I, thought, I thought the role was trash but then people were like that's the role drewski wanted and i was like oh mm -hmm. yeah. turns out i like it <laughs> what do y'all think um it's gonna be the best sniper once they sunset the beloved Mm. Mm. Is Revoker not going to get uh, leveled up with it? Is that being sunset as well? Oh yeah, thank God. <laughs> it is okay. I wasn't sure. You yes. have you can use Eye of Soul I, for yeah, a little I was bit. Say Eye of Soul. Um, um, and then for energy, like Widow's Bite is feels real good. It's crazy. It what else really is he doing? Yeah, I was. I was. We did like a challenge yesterday in our banner, all snipers. We did like G one uh, banner and the Eye of Soul. The beloved is such a good sniper. It's crazy. It's mm -hmm. like it's it. It was way better than the ISO. When I put the ISO on, the handling was different. The, the field of view wasn't the same. It wasn't. As, it's crazy. The beloved's like, I don't know. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> the, yeah, beloved's really good, and Revoker. They're both like just top tier. My hope is that they yeah. actually bring something in to replace this stuff because we've been saying this on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. because like if you yeah. if you take away awesome loot and then don't give us new exciting loot to go and get that's going to technically fill in some of those roles and people are going to be disappointed yeah yeah it's set a high standard so yeah. it's like just give me something else you know that i can use mm -hmm. brown af jesus says how does one get good practice <laughs> that's <laughs> a good first step right like, just CBM. play the game that's what i did is there play any the game. sacrificial um things that you could do Lamb, you know, mm, well, it seems practice. a lot easier than practice. I like it. Blood Moon. <laughs> yeah. so I, don't tricks. I think it's just reps, repetition, learning the maps. Because you know, like, do you know all the maps? Do you know where people, you know, all the sniper lanes? Do you know where shotgun choke points are? Do you watch good players? Um, when I first started playing, I was just constantly learning from everybody. It was constant. Like, and then you go against a good player, like, wow, like, I should have been looking at that angle. Or, you know, I don't know why I went over there to get that res when, you know, there's a grenade, right? You know, you can just learn different things by just playing, I think. So I think what's or, interesting, <laughs> go for it, Watson. You could eat Briar. <laughs> Briar is known for uh, getting good nutrients. <laughs> That's not going to do it. <laughs> uh, I was going to say that I think it's, um, I think a lot of people forget the, the mental aspect of that. Of like the chess game, you know, yes. Pv PvP is 100 percent like I mean not 100 percent, mm -hmm. but it's a big part of it's a chess game in that you don't have to necessarily have the best shot. If you do have the best shot, then even better. But if you don't have the the head game in there, like the mental awareness of like the the battle, then you know, kind of goes out the window. Yeah, I will say this: Destiny has a big hitbox, right? So the guns kind of they're yeah. gonna hit. <laughs> the, the big difference between teams. Is the uh, is, is your is your is this your mind your brain how you move how you push as a team do you flank do you do this do you do that because the guns are going to hit regardless mm -hmm. um, the gun skill when you get to the highest level it's not really different it's how about who's the smarter player who's the smarter team yeah yeah if you yell Wu Tang after every shotgun kill it really does motivate you to get more shotgun shotgun kills so just saying. I'll that out. <laughs> it motivated me I had a new sense of like ownership of my shotgun. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Experiment number 626 says, in a fight, who you got? Drifter and Eris or Zavala and Ikora? 
Ikora, Ooh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I can't bet against Ikora. I can't Can ever the drifter bet against fight? her. Does he like <laughs> actually fight, or does I don't he just think so. annoy people? He gets his taken captive. Oh, like, he's oh, more oh, the stabby in the back kind of guy. That. I think you just yeah. hurt your feelings. Like. <laughs> yeah, like he'll talk hella <laughs> shit, but not like fight. <laughs> I feel like he'd talk you out of the fight and then you'd get stabbed yeah. by one of those Taken bosses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. We've never really seen Drifter or Eris fight, have we? Have we ever seen Eris throw down? Mm, don't think she's so. good at warping us out of fights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hiding. Powers. We know she's good at hiding for a long time. do that anyway. I, don't, I still don't know how she does that. I mean, she is a badass how she managed to get out of the situation she was in. Yeah. That's but because I mean, she's Sabathun and has been spying on us the whole time. <laughs> And she really died in Crota's end. The lore expert one. says so. <laughs> there it is. Yes. I've, uh, I've also oh, seen yeah, Zavala yeah. fight, and I'm not impressed. He died a lot. To be fair, he could <laughs> just pop bubbles and make orbs for Ikora, and then I yeah. think they're good. I think yeah, then they just it. take it. <laughs> I just realized new people playing Destiny the 2 are never going to... have a class. Yeah, that's true. He, he yeah, he's not, he, yeah, he doesn't even like... I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's a <laughs> warlock or what <laughs> element he uses. It's very Guys, mysterious. New light players are not going to experience Zvala like shooting off the side and randomly popping a bubble in the beginning of the tower getting blown no. apart. You don't have to play through that mission? Is the whole campaign just gone? Even the initial I'm pretty sure they, they do like the, the Cosmodrone thing and then they're like a here's, drone, yeah. here's 50 million quests. At a, get at him. Oh, that, that mission what? literally doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, I don't I, think the Red War, yeah. I think wow. you can play at the Red War, but like you're not forced to. And that oh, is going oh, okay. away. That mission was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was. You get to see all your all your buds fighting. Uh Cito's art says not related to gameplay, but if more Destiny Funko Pops were released, who would you like to see? Aramis. Pyramid that chip. <laughs> Pyramid with the eyes. <laughs> I don't know what ones exist already, so. Yeah, yeah same. I don't know really anything about it. <laughs> say yeah. Drifter and Anna, but I don't know if those exist already. At one point, I was trying to get the uh, Atheon one, but it was like sold out Atheon. just because I wanted it to like hold up my graphics card in my PC. You know how people do. Hmm, okay. Yep, I thought it'd look yep, cool yep, to like yep. kind of do like a vault of glass themed PC with Atheon in it. That would that be would dope. Be cool. That would be cool. But I didn't. Oh, Riven didn't would be a good one. Riven? Riven would be really good. I'd buy a Riven one. Orcs. Are Funko Pops cool. like Beanie Babies? Orcs. So like people collecting they these things think they're going to be like worth a lot of money. I don't even know if they think they're going to be worth a lot of money. I would hope just not. Collect them. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Jay Sherritt says, our clan raids regularly and has for years. Apparently, I sigh whenever we wipe. I didn't know this was a thing, but I guess I'm holding my breath in tense situations. What are some things that you do that you didn't realize you do? And how did you fix it? AKA personal blind spots. That's hilarious. That's like every time he sighs. <laughs> He's been holding his breath the whole time. You got to do that, too. <sighs> Gonna Fuck. pass out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to this day, in every game, I'm always just like over here, and then that never. Yeah. Oh, don't expect oh, me to yeah. learn a call out of any map yeah. ever. No, yeah. absolutely not. He's over here. On me. I don't know where I am. <laughs> where are you? I don't know. The left He's corridor. Weak. He's weak. I'm by a door. He's sniping. <laughs> where? <at? laughs> What? I used to play a lot of trials with uh, with uh, Wilson, and Wilson was always yelling at me, "Dude, you're all alone! Like, where did you get?" <laughs> like, <"Argh." Yeah. laughs> <Just> wander off. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Rick, Ringo the Dingo says, "Episode 200 is coming up. If you could get anyone as a guest for the anniversary show, Ooh. who would you invite?" Hmm. I want to Lance Lance. I want the Zavala himself. So we can talk about how awesome it is being a a hunter. (laughs) (laughs) So we can ask him about his bubble technique in that mission. (laughs) 
<laughs> Why were and you he's popping never a bubble the first? <laughs> do you think he plays well, I, like, all the gameplay? Like, do you think he actually plays like expansion? He's a warlock. Yeah, he definitely th- plays. I think he plays a yeah. warlock. Yeah, I don't know how much he, he plays, but he's I know he's a warlock. <laughs> it's hilarious. Unfortunately, <laughs> he is a warlock. It's a bad decision. You don't want Mark Hamill, voice of Nacris, to be on the show? <laughs> yes, I do. If if that if he really is the voice, even if he's not, I just want to yeah, talk to him. Say, do, do you care? I don't really give a shit. <laughs> like, do you know Destiny? Is Star Wars Destiny space the same thing? Come he's on one of my show. favorite follows on Twitter. Actually, like he is legitimately yeah, he is. hilarious and seems like an awesome person. Like. People will be like, hey, Mark Hamill, it's my son's birthday. Could you wish him a happy birthday? He totally does it. It's awesome. <laughs> he like, he's just like solid, awesome person. Yeah. So maybe Mark Hamill is the winner there. I was going to say Nathan Fillion because I have like a personal man crush on him. He's definitely <laughs> on my, you know, that list you make with your with your spouse. Like if you ever were to meet this celebrity in real life, you get a cheating pass. Nathan Fillion's on my list. <laughs> I met him. I met him at the VGX VGX Awards. In, oh my uh, like god! Now you're on my list. That was. <laughs> <laughs> my proxy. Oh man. Uh. Uh, James says, "Who would you be disappointed if there are no new enemy races in the September DLC?" Yes, I would be. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I mean. Yeah. I'm going to be excited about the stasis stuff, but yeah. it's going to be disappointing. Depends what we're it's calling same. new. It's not a deal breaker, but yeah, it would suck. Yeah. Mm. Eh. I'd prefer there is one. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But I'd that's be okay with like Fallen, it. Darkness Fallen, or Exo Fallen, or one of those. But uh, uh, Hey, put Aramis in a bikini. I'm down with anything. Yeah, Next yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Adam says, that's a good question. Follow up. What if the new enemy race was crawfish? Oh, sentient crawfish coming out of the uh, the pyramid. At this point, any new race is welcome. So <laughs> they're like, oh, no, it's 15 no, pounds. Type race. <laughs> you know where Patrick is. It could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. TPAT 123 says, it's not a question, but thanks for being positive role models in the Destiny community. I've been burnt out on Destiny and am living it through y'all. Oh, thank you. Can I give a shout out to y'all? Like, I love that word. It's the most inclusive word, y'all. Like, <laughs> I, I love that word. Yeah, that's what I use <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> y'all. Yeah. <laughs> y'all. Thank you, TPAT. Uh, Blink148 says, I just got a better working controller than my old Xbox controllers. I got to say, I love it, but it's well worth the frustrations adjusting to it. Any of you ever get frustrated adjusting to a new controller slash mouse and keyboard? Yeah. Uh, Yeah. The first time I ever used a scuff controller, I forced myself to not use any other buttons. And that was it, it was made me learn faster because I was forcing myself not to touch anything else to go back into, you know, muscle memory of doing stuff. Um, but yeah, that was rough. That was a rough, rough, rough little bit. Yeah, it is tough. When I get a new scuff, the knobs are so sticky that like when you snipe or anything, you'll like go past somebody's head. So it takes yeah. me like probably three or four days to get that rubber, like, you know, grind it down a little bit before my I hit consistent shots. So it is a little frustrating, but it just takes repetition. Uh, one thing I find with new controllers is the paddles, like mm. getting used to the paddle sensitivity. Like you, you don't really think about that when getting a controller. But like for me, every time every controller has different paddle sensitivity feels of activating the paddles. And I, I notice I always have to kind of adjust to that a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I don't have any fancy scuff controllers, but my struggle is always just what's wrong with this new PS4 controller, whether it's <laughs> shredded thumbsticks or now I have this one where the left thumbstick just drifts a little bit. So my cursor oh. will just be like yeah. slowly yeah. moving. It's always I think, I think the PS4 set a record for me of most controllers I've gone through so bad. in one console generation. I am not hard. I don't throw them. I don't, I'm not like hard on no. them. They just break like the the yeah. triggers have broken the thumbstick rubber has fallen off terrible yep. but yeah, i still prefer it over the xbox one controller especially like the first gen of xbox one controllers the sticks were looser than lano's morals they were terrible <laughs> get it get it what i did there <laughs> <laughs> 
That's going oh, wow. in the water. All right, oh, Briar. That's enough beer. Right. Take it. Now give me the beer. Give me the beer. Article, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Got him. Oh my god. Amazing. As Sean McLean says DCP wins the lottery and decides to found a gaming studio. What is the title and genre? I've thought about this. Game release. Oh, okay. Mm. I it? saw the question and I was like, this is one I'm not going to be able to answer if I just like think about it. On okay. The show. So, Soulsborne game, but Oof. instead of being a person, you get to create your own cat. So, you are a cat in a Soulsborne type game, and all of the classes are like cat type classes. So, the lazy one, maybe sometimes he has to go take a nap. He's really strong, but gets really sleepy. The lazy cat. So, you cat? only have like <laughs> short amounts of time to, uh, you got the scaredy cat. Yeah, scaredy cat. You run away. Yeah. Yeah, it's you great. Got, you got the nonchalant, <laughs> I don't care about anything cat. Be like, what? <laughs> what, you going to hit? What? <laughs> yeah, top that. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a big question right there. Yeah. Like, if I could assign roles, like, I would definitely put, like, Watts as the... As the idea man, designer of well, based on recent history, <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> definitely in charge of the feels, the feel of the controller, the feel of the gunplay. Because every time she says something feels good and I play it, I always agree with her. Um, thank you. I mean, Ash is art lead, obviously. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, music lead, Tefty. I'll definitely mm-hmm. do the score 100%. Narrative lead, Paul. Thank you. Lore Master Paul. <laughs> Lore Master Paul. <laughs> I'm just a special co-host. So. <laughs> How could we make Fran panic the most? Mm. Oh, mm. never give him an actual deadline that we keep. <laughs> the power per hour is constantly changing. There's an algorithm. As soon as he gets it written down on paper, it changes. <laughs> <laughs> Codename Campbell says, who is the one, who is one of your favorite gaming content creators? Describe their content in a few words. Favorite content so creators? Oh, well, mine was Doctor, but disrespect, but he hasn't been streaming. No one knows what's going on, so I don't know. Is that yeah, controversial? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Well, I don't know we don't know yet. <laughs> we don't yeah. know if it's controversial. Know. It's just, it, it was entertainment. I don't know. It was entertaining. I love watching him compete. Um, is it a cop out to say Lupo because Lupo is just that cool? But I don't think not so. At all. I, I think Lupo's Lupo. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's amazing. Yeah, I always bring up Mr. Fruit when these kind of questions hit. He's he does so many great things. Yeah, he's great. I've been watching this channel lately called Game Sack, and they do like retro gaming videos. But my favorite thing that they do <laughs> is at the end of every video, they do this little skit. Usually. Like, it's kind of like old man fa- dad humor, which, of course, I love. <laughs> the One of the last ones they did, they actually did, like, claymation in the skit because, like, they were looking at old uh, claymation video games like Clay Fighter and things like that. Mm. I don't know. I just I like their stuff. It's fun to watch. Briar likes a channel with the word sack in it about retro gaming. Who would have thought? That's true. So when joke. I'm playing with my mister, I can watch game sack. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guaranteed way to make watts giggle and that's just to say the word mister <laughs> i love it so many things playing you can say with your him. mister <laughs> loves his mister uh your typical mexican says mexican candy or japanese candy what's your favorite also what is the re- rarest weird candy that you've ever eaten mexican or japanese candy what's better japanese candy I've only eaten Mexican, so I don't know anything. I about don't either think I've eaten either. The weirdest I one, feel like though. I'm gonna assume that Japanese candy has like half naked underage cartoons on it. So I'm gonna <laughs> go with Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had Mexican candy. I haven't had uh, uh, Japanese candy. I do know that it's usually very spicy and or very sour. <laughs> Spicy candy. Hmm. That's all terrible. I know. Is I want to take Briar to Japan during the Penis Festival because I think he'll have a great time. Holy. That's guaranteed. There's candy there. <laughs> there's there's candy. 
that you may have experience with eating before, Brian. So that's great. <laughs> Bag of dicks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Uh, awesomeness says you can summon, summon single any single object the way Thor summons his hammer. What object do you choose? It cannot be a weapon. I'm going to summon the correct cable for whatever I need at any moment immediately. Damn, that sounds useful. <laughs> yeah. PGA to HDMA? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that is very useful, actually. Scart to RGB? Got it. <laughs> it's a good one. What a summon. Uh, fully cooked plate of spaghetti, so long as the spaghetti doesn't fly off and hit me when I summon. <laughs> I like Can it. Can it just happen like Throwing one a out of a there? thousand times <laughs> that it just like flies off your plate and hits you? In the never, you never know. You never know when it's <laughs> coming, but it'll happen like at some 999 point. 999 times is fine. No problem. <laughs> One time, though. <laughs> Damn, I don't know what i pick. Briar, that's a really good idea. I mean, for me, being in the studio, like, patching gear, like, that would be really yeah. useful for me. Yeah. Anytime you need a quarter inch, eighth inch, be. you know, modular. Yeah. I think I have to take well, yours. I, I got to be, like, basic and copy you. <laughs> RCA in to three and a half millimeter out. Got it right here. It's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know weed then i never have to leave my house for sure that would be pretty profitable too <laughs> <laughs> pretty profitable. <laughs> well, what can i get you got that, got yeah, that why, why didn't anyone say just like money I, yeah, <laughs> money would be cool gold bars money I don't know. would be cool that's true yeah the exact Damn, amount of whatever you're paying I didn't for think of practical. you didn't say we couldn't get money yeah <laughs> Nope. Just not weapons. Like, not weapons. You have to Just pay for something. To buy a weapon later. I mean, weapons aren't <laughs> even on my top ten list, really. No. <laughs> what do you, what do you really need weapons for? It's super not impractical. Not often. <laughs> if you could do a football, then you could win all the games. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Unless it was a second football, and then it would just be confusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Get. laughs> Celestine 051 says, what would you choose to eat? Okay, would you choose to eat Doritos, Cool Ranch Doritos, or off-brand nacho cheese Doritos? Cool Ranch. Which would you Doritos. choose? Cool Ranch. Exactly. Cool Ranch. Thank you. Cool Ranch. Exactly. Briar. Off-brand. That is a tough decision. <laughs> you say off-brand, Paul? <laughs> off-brand. No, I said it derisively. Like no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Both of these things are terrible. <laughs> cool Ranch Kenny, is delicious. how do you feel about Cool Ranch? Are you a fan of Cool Ranch? I like Cool Ranch. I okay. like it. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you find it strange that some people in this world think it's disgusting? No. Some people don't <laughs> like it. I like it. I don't find it like strange. Some people don't like Cool Ranch. I don't know. I like them. It's the best Dorito in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Briar. You're, you can say you can say that people are weird, scary, strange. Yeah, misguided. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trouble. What ranch is walking around with cool with Doritos running around? Like, why it's are a they cool called ranch, cool man? Ranch? They got like oh, sunglasses. It's cool. What does man. that even have to do with Doritos? They're ranching. That's and the they're name looking of a cool. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's made by cool cowboys on the ranch. That's yeah. why. Cool cowboys. It's not Duh. Hidden Valley should have stayed hidden. <laughs> Cool Alex says, do you <laughs> untie your shoes before you take them off? Mm, no, flip-flops no. don't have laces. Neither no. do Crocs. <laughs> really, all my bases are covered. Yeah, I don't think I ever untie them. I only untie them when I'm no, about to put never. them on. Unless they're dress really... shoes and I have to. I pull my shoes off. I'm like, why do I need to wear yeah. dress shoes? So. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In a pandemic? It's usually not on. for something good. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody either died or even worse, they got married. <laughs> yes. Zachary Richard says hello everyone LL Cool J invites everyone to participate in his show lip sync battle question one would you face who would you face off on DCP uh, and what is the song you would try and sing to win the battle so you gotta face off against somebody here okay 
And what song? And a lip pick? sync battle. Lip, lip sync. LL Cool J's lip sync battle specifically. Is that a thing? Is that a TV show that I'm? I don't know because it's really specific, and I'm confused. Is he just a big fan of lip syncing? I don't understand. I don't know. It sounds like something that would exist. No, it does. I'm facing off with Briar. We're gonna mm-hmm. we're gonna lip sync battle Bohemian Rhapsody. Oof. Mm-hmm. I refuse <laughs> to compete. I'm just gonna be like <laughs> oh, it is a show? oh, he hosts a show of lip sync battle. Oh, it's a show. Oh, okay. You don't you don't lip sync battle LO Cool J. You just <laughs> he's just he, he's just there. Okay. <laughs> It's Wait, like is LL didn't cool actually J the pimp your judge? ride. He was just there. <laughs> In my mind, he's the judge. Um, oh, okay. He's so the only I gotta watch the only show. <laughs> he's the only one. The only one. I can't even name an LL Cool J song at this point. I'm going to do oh, Love You Better. Um, Against Briar, because that would be funny. And I don't hilarious. know that song. <laughs> well, you're going to get to know it, Briar. <laughs> um... I would do Taylor Swift's All Too Well because it's just a beautiful song. (laughs) I would do it against Briar because everyone's saying Briar. (laughs) Got to go against Briar. We get to eat him if we win. Here's why. No, here's why. He's going to be drunk. He's going to be 20 (laughs) 20 beers deep and you're definitely going to win. All right. Does that make it better though? Maybe Briar (laughs) awakens during. Drug and Briar becomes a lip syncing master. Yeah. Don't no. pick a pirate song if you're planning. The fact on that this isn't karaoke is kind of like <laughs> that's a whole different <laughs> ball game. Uh, the Bohemian Nine says, "If I listen to an audiobook book, can I say I read the book?" Sure. Yes, because I get a lot more royalties if you buy the audiobook. So that's great. There you go. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Definitely counts. Read, read the that. book, though. I mean, if you yeah, got I, listen I to know, it, I know of the book. Did you get the same information if you read or listened am, to it? But the word is yes. The word read. Yeah, I, I, I know I that you you know the story and you have consumed the media of the book. But it's not like a movie read. adaptation. It's like <laughs> literally the book. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't read it. You listened to it. <laughs> But it's like Watts is saying, like, do you then have to be like, well, sorry, I consumed the book via auditory <laughs> experience in my there's head. No other, there's no other way to put that, really. Yeah. I slept I on the book, the book and consumed it by osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's the same thing. I've it is listened the same to thing. a bunch of books. It just takes way longer, but yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, but you can do it while you're doing other things. That's true. Which is yeah. nice. Are you paying attention though to the book? Yeah, trust me, it's way more interesting than the vacuuming I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last question of the night: Hugo Rune yeah. says, "Would you rather date a man who is six foot tall?" Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you rather date a man who is a six foot tall penis, <laughs> or a man who, instead of having That's a penis, a has a tiny man there? Note the six foot Paul. <laughs> Six foot penis man would have a face on his helmet, but is otherwise just a huge penis without balls. <laughs> he would be wearing a suit jacket with false oh arms on it to give him a more human appearance. The tiny man would be living with his feet implanted in his host man, but would be a separate individual with his own personality. Does he have a job? <laughs> does he, do, you get, do you get two does incomes he, for the price of one? Does he telecommute? That, oh. that sounds pretty good. Well, it would we suck if, like, your, if your penis man like else. worked the, the late shift while you were trying to sleep. Like he was like, you know, uh <laughs> he's got his little desk. laptop in there. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> man. This is um an awkward question. Yeah. I'm it depends if the little uh, man's an asshole though, right? Mike, if I would number three without explaining why, but <laughs> I want an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's because Paul has experience with this before. That makes sense. Now it checks out. I swore I'd never tell. I'll go with the second one then. Sounds better. I gotta go with the first one. It'd just be weird to be dating a, a tiny penis man <laughs> who is implanted on like a regular sized person. Like when I'm having like a heart to heart with my penis man lover, 
<laughs> who, like, what's this dude just standing there, like, watching this thing go down, being like, this is so awkward. Wait, I thought you were dating the regular man. I hate it when yeah. Briar's Yeah, I thought it was, no, it's a regular I thought it was man. reversed. It's no, no, a I'm dating the it's penis regu- man. Oh, the short penis man. That wasn't even an option. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this short no, no, penis no, no, no. In, <laughs> in the question, it was you date a regular man, but he a has small a small man for a penis, and his feet are dug yeah. into the, you know. Oh, I'm dating the regular dude who has yeah. the... the Oh. Who's got a commentator down below she saying, "What are you doing that for?" A separate person. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm changing my answer then. That changes everything. Now we have like a penis, like a a little penis man, just to hang out with. <laughs> oh, All this question. And that that guy's gonna be fun to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna teach him to play with my mister. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that question is going to be. Yeah. Walking okay. around that's with it. A, that's all the questions. Walking around with a giant dick, right? Yep. That's what my that's wife says. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that thrilling note, that's the end of DCP episode number one ninety five. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Uh, Kenny, where can people find you online doing your thing, man? Uh, I guess <laughs> on Twitch, I guess. But I mean, on Twitter, I'm I'm always talking with the community. Just Kenny Vaccaro four at Kenny Vaccaro four. That's it. Awesome. And <clears throat> and stream schedule wise, you're kind of off and on or no, nothing crazy. I'd honestly appreciate more if people would just go follow the the G1 Twitter at G1 official. And that's it. Don't worry is, about me. Is but. that where people are going to be able to find the most information about the upcoming tournaments that you guys are planning? For the yeah, community? so we'll get together. I'll get together with my team. We'll get a flyer made. We'll reach out to people. We want to get things set in stone with the details before we make, start making promises. But it's going to happen within the next couple of weeks. Awesome. So. Yeah, that's great. Really looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Cool. Well, thanks again for being on the show, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was fun. It got really interesting at the end, but it was <laughs> Interesting. It's normally topic. all like quotations. That, so. Interesting. <laughs> That's normally the entire show. Uh, Paul, great, had a good time. <laughs> Paul, where, where can people find you? Uh, just at Paul Tassi on Twitter. You can just Google me to find my Forbes articles about gaming. And I started YouTube like two weeks ago. So nice. Seeing how that goes. Yeah. Nice. Is it is it YouTube.com slash Paul Tassi? No, because I don't know how to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just search for my name on YouTube until I figure that out. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Solid. Yeah. Uh, Watts. Uh, I am Miss Five Thousand Watts. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. Just look for Miss Five Thousand Watts. Nice. I'm Briar Rabbit. You can find me playing with my Mister with my new friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The mister is... Brian, do you want to explain what the mister is to Kenny? Because it sounds... No, you don't want to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's like, no thanks. I got a YouTube video no about Kenny. explanation needed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and I am uh, I am Tefty Teft. You can talk to me at Teft on Twitter and catch my streams. Twitch.tv forward slash Tefty Teft. Um, I've been, uh, I'm looking forward to Ghost of Tsushima this month. Definitely going to be streaming that. Yeah. And obviously the stuff that's happening with Destiny, but looking forward to that stuff. And uh, I'm also going to be doing that Dream Daddy stream at some point this month for, 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 that. for our GCX. <laughs> with the beard. Yes. Pink beard, Dream Daddy stream because of the GCX you better, goal. You better announce that like a week ahead of time. to make Don't sure worry. Can, like, I'll let people right. know, Briar. All right. I don't want to like wake up one morning and see like a tweet like, oh my God, the Dream Daddy stream was amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys for being there. I'd be like, I missed it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So that's the show. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, shout out to all uh, all our Twitch subs and Patreon members supporting the show and making it happen. And uh, shout out to our live viewers and also people on YouTube and on the podcast syndication places. We really appreciate all the support. We'll see you next time for another episode of, uh, yeah. Or I mean, of DCP. It's side DCP. quest on Mondays and DCP <laughs> on Thursdays with a occasional firing range in midweeks every now and then. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye. Yeah.